Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Takashi 6 9 robbery situation, honey, okay? So if you guys don't know, over the weekend, Takashi 6 9 basically put out a new song called Fifi with Nicki Minaj. So that song went viral. Everybody's been talking about this. Well, I'm poppy, worth the ASAP, keep me rocky. I'm from New York, so I'm cocky. And then on Sunday morning, it was announced by TMZ that Takashi 6 9 was robbed at gunpoint pistol whipped and kidnapped and then somehow he made it out of the kidnapper's car and ran to safety so a lot of folks were you know kind of shook you know we weren't really buying it folks were saying that he's just trolling he's looking for attention you know this guy's a clout chaser um and then the story changed later on that day to something else well, now it's come out that he supposedly has footage. They're saying that the police has CCTV footage of the attack. And they're also saying that it was a legitimate attack and it wasn't a hoax. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys this news article. Go ahead and check this out. So the CCT footage of the moment Takashi 69 was attacked reportedly shows the vicious beating was 100% genuine. Skeptics speculated that the attack, which saw him allegedly kidnapped and pistol whipped, would have been set up on the day his collab with Nicki Minaj dropped. However, CCTV from his home is said to prove that the attack was terrifyingly real, with TMZ claiming the robbers were caught on video in the footage pulled from the property by police. As the rapper claimed it was an inside job the clip was allegedly shot too far away from the men to be identified but shows the robbers vehicles as they pull up ahead of the ambush tmz also claimed 69 gave a milder turn of events than other sources gave police are said to be treating this incident as a genuine rather than a pr stunt all right so you guys just heard me read that what's crazy is that not only that he did an interview with dj academics and in that interview he said that he felt like it was an inside job which to me if this is a real robbery I feel like it would have to be an inside job because we all know Takashi, as much shit as he talks, he walks around suited and booted with security, okay? He's not walking around by himself. Don't let them damn video angles fool you. He's not stomping the streets of Old Block by his damn self, okay? Old Block right here. This was y'all wanted me in Chicago. This Old Block right here. I should call this shit No Block. It's 10 o'clock. Where the fuck y'all niggas at? Niggas ain't outside. It's only 10 p.m. Where the fuck y'all niggas at, blood? He was out there for two seconds at three o'clock in the damn morning. All Takashi does is lie and troll. Well, if that's not crazy enough, the guys who supposedly stole his jewelry, there's two different groups of people taking responsibility. One is some guy named Shaggy. This is what he had to say. Go ahead and check this out. Come for me, pussy boy. Come get a nigga. 200 nigga. You want come for me? You want what? Wrong. All right, so you guys just saw Shaggy bragging about the jury. The other guy that folks are blaming is a dude called Black Jesus. He's really close with Trippy Red. And as we all know, Trippy Red and Shakashi 69 do not get along. They're always beefing and going back and forth and throwing shade at each other. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these videos and these pictures of Black Jesus and Trippy Red hanging with him. Go ahead and check this out. It's your boy Takashi69 and I just want to say I thank God that I'm alive. I apologize to everyone that I was trolling. I could have lost my life. My uh, girl was in the uh, room with my uh, kid. Yeah, I'm just sorry. Got my chest back, I'm a bitch ass nigga. Uh. All 
All right, so you guys just saw those pictures in the video. So like I said, this entire situation is crazy. And the fact that we even have to ask, is this real? Is he trolling? That lets you know the type of person he is. The fact that something so-called serious can happen to him and nobody's buying this shit because he's lied about other stuff. He's always trolling. He's always into a bunch of bullshit. And I think that's the saddest part of this situation. If this truly happened to 6 9 then I'm sorry that it happened to him. I don't think anybody deserves to be robbed and beaten and everything else. But I have to ask the question, where are the bruises? Because when Delicia Cordon, the one that said that she got Bill's boyfriend, LaShawn, her face was bruised. She's about the same complexion as Takashi 6 9 And it looked like she was definitely pistol whipped. Takashi 6 9 I'm not seeing no bruises on him. Even in the shower where he's up close, I'm not seeing these bruises. DJ Academics claimed that he saw something, but I'm not buying that shit whatsoever you know it's an inside job like i said this entire situation is crazy it's going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out do you guys feel like this was a real situation and takashi 69 was really attacked and robbed for almost eight hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry or do you feel like this was just a setup and even if he was beat up everybody was in on it and this is just for him to go viral and you know bring attention to fifi and all that stuff and honestly if he did this to bring attention to fifi he felt miserably because right now fifi is not even playing on half the radio station because in LA they're refusing to play it and if they do play it they're only playing Nicki Minaj's track they're not playing his track at all go ahead and check out what one of the radio stations in LA had to say about the situation go ahead and check this out LA I got a short story boss comes down the hall today says yo just you play all the new music right I said okay he says I got a song making a lot of noise he said it's got nine million views on YouTube I said truthfully I don't pay attention to views I only go off what my gut says he said okay it's got Nicki Minaj on it I said, I like Nicki Minaj. She's the queen. You got my attention. He said, it's the new 6 9 and Nicki Minaj song. I said, oh, boss man. I said, that's the thing. I don't, I don't really agree with what he said about our city. Boss man says, Just, why don't you just test the song out and tell me what the listeners think about it? I said, boss man, with all due respect, nobody who disrespects LA or my homies is getting any play on my show. So yo game, yo YG, you got my word tonight. You will not hear this clown on my show. But this is what I will do. I'll play the hottest verse on the track. Nicki Minaj went crazy on it. Shout to Nicki, shout to Murder Beats. LA, this is Power 106. All right, so you guys heard what they had to say about it in LA. So a lot of radio stations are not really feeling this song. So if he did all of this for publicity, I think he really messed up. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Takashi 69 Do you guys believe this was a real hit? Or do you feel like he's once again trolling the internet? All right, deuces. So for you guys wondering what I'm sipping on today, the tea that I have in my cup is my hair and nail tea. This is a really good tea to help keep your nails long and strong and to keep your hair healthy. So if you're interested in purchasing a bag, make sure you guys click the link down below. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.